In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up your new hard drive that you have just fitted to your Windows 10 PC or laptop. You may have noticed it is currently not recognizable by Windows. If I open up File Explorer, I have actually just fitted a new SSD drive and it's not currently showing up under devices and drives. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and it helped and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The first thing you want to ensure is that your computer has definitely detected the drive. So to do this, you can either do it in the BIOS or you can do it in Device Manager. To open up Device Manager, all we need to do is right click on the Start menu icon and you then need to click on Device Manager. You now need to expand disk drives and straight away at the top, I can see Windows has detected my new SSD, the 870 EVO 1 terabyte. Also, I will be doing a benchmark video on this hard drive. So if you are interested in watching that, I will put the link in the description below. So the good news is my computer has detected that I have installed a new drive to it. The bad news is Windows 10 hasn't detected it yet, but that's not actually bad news because the first thing you always need to do when installing a new drive into Windows is to open up disk management. To open up disk management, all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you now need to click onto disk management. You will then end up with a window that looks like this and as you can see, it has detected my new drive you would then have two different options to choose from. You have MBR or GPT. GPT is the newer version that you will want to select, but if you're running an older version of Windows, then GPT will not be recognized or might not be recognized. And also GPT is normally if you use a 64-bit version of Windows, if you want to make the drive bootable for Windows using an older version of Windows, then you'd want to go for MBR as it's the older partition style. I'm now going to go ahead and select GPT and then press OK. Once you have selected an option, you now need to scroll down until you find your disk. And as you can see, my disk is here because it says unallocated. You then need to right click on the unallocated area and then go new simple folio. We now need to go next and you then need to select the maximum disk space size and go next again. And you now need to assign the drive a letter. If you open up your file explorer again, as you can see, I don't have G in use at the moment. So I can simply add G as the drive letter for my new SSD. So I'm now going to go next and you can now choose if you want to format the drive or if you don't want to format, you can select do not format this volume. I do recommend, however, you do give it a quick format as it's a brand new drive. But also just keep in mind that if it's not a brand new drive and you do have data on it, then by formatting it, it will permanently remove that data. So you now have a few different options under format. You can select the file system. I'm going to leave it on NTFS. You can choose the allocation unit size. I'm just going to leave that on default as well. And then you can give the drive a name. I'm just going to call it local disk. And we can now keep perform a quick format selected. And then we now need to go next. And we can then go ahead and press finish. As you can see straight away, it's now done the format and we now have the disk here, disk two, and it no longer says unallocated. If we now go back to File Explorer, and as you can see, my disk is now there and ready to be used. And that is how easy it is to add a disk drive to Windows 10. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.